Well, yep. <clears throat> we're both gonna cough and yeah. This is like you guys. This is like the raw. You know, you know, back in in the in the days of um of of more toxic masculinity, I keep looking at this bag and forgetting I have like a whole bunch of garlic bread in it. And then I see it and I'm like, I have garlic bread. Why haven't I eaten it? And it like blanks my mind out. You should like eat your. I garlic should eat the bread. garlic bread, but like um. No, I was saying like back, back like twenty years ago, when like you know, when when like you know you were only a real man if you called other people gay and like abused women and shit, and like every movie was like stupid and had an like an unrated DVD release that was just like more tits and more calling women derogatory names. You you remember those times like. It's going to be like that, except for a couple of old dudes just coughing. You're making the slide for this episode. Sounds what's tough. So I sold my soul. And I don't think I'll ever regain control. Devil look me in the eye and I'll look the other way. What else could I do? I just did. That way, forty-seven is in the same place, and this time, vomit can't claim that I didn't warn him. I invited him out. It's the Star Trek. We're watching Star Trek. We're going back to our roots that even fewer people watched than the stuff we do now, which nobody watches. Um, and we're continuing Star Trek: The Next Generation. We are uh, the season three, episode one, titled "Evolution." And uh, how long has it been, Draco Funk, since we recorded a next gen episode? I, oh God, um, two years. Two years. That's not as long. That's not as long as I thought. I think we can put off Shades of Grey for like a couple years before that, though. Let's see. Two years since Shades of Grey, uh-huh. and three years. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> since peak performance. So yeah, a lot of things have happened in that time. Um, I think I've... Well, no, I only moved states once in that time. Um, Other things have also happened. And now we're watching Star Trek. And um, this is not a Ford recommend, but I've had a white one. I have next to me a Disco Berliner style vice of beer from Floyd's? Brewing? That's kind of hard to read, actually. Um, Which I picked up off a shelf at the beer store down the street from the hotel that I came down to visit Draco Funk and and rented the room of. Um, Bottle with Three Floyds. Okay, brewed and bottled by Three Floyds Floyds Brewing Company, Munster, Indiana. (laughs) Is Munster, Indiana. It's next Uh, to Adam Adam Stanley, Indiana. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I guess. Product of USA. Um, and there is no other information. But I don't know how strong this is. Um, this, quote, not normal Berliner style Weisse is a tart and refreshing liquid homage to Euro culture. So I guess we should listen to Kraftwerk. Maybe. Right, okay. Sorry. Trumpet okay. vomit is calling me. Oh, man, you better answer it. I, I, I told him to text me. Okay. Are you are you the operator of your pocket calculator? What? If you press a special key, does it play a little melody? No. Those are the only craft work lyrics I know. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is pretty good. Actually, it tastes it does taste like really citrusy, like like if you took if you took rye bread. And soaked it in like grapefruit juice. That's kind of what this tastes like. It's not bad. If it wasn't cold, I'd hate it. Anyway, I'm going to eat my garlic bread. Uh, tell us about this episode of Next Gen, Draco Funk. This episode came out September 23rd, 1989. All right. It has an IMDb rating of 6.5. Hmm. Not, not the. Um, Best episode this season. 
Um, oh, yeah, there's one that's worse. There's one that's tied with it. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's another one that's tied with it. Yeah, there's only one episode worse than this, and there are two others that are tied with it. So this is kind of a one of the lowest rated episodes of this. Did season. you give the number rating yet? 6.5. 6.5, okay. I got distracted by looking at my non that has like a bunch of green stuff on it. I was like, that's not right. But then I looked at it closer, and it's like chives. Yeah. Yeah. 6.5. 6.5. So, as compared to the stuff we've been watching lately, this is, like, <laughs> shockingly good, actually. <laughs> I mean, the last thing we watched was the Boondock Saints 2. Boondock Saints 2, which can't be as bad as literally any episode of Next Gen. I can't think of a sim- single episode of Next Gen that's that bad. Sub Rosa is not that bad. Code of Honor. Close. But Code of Honor had a plot that I watched the whole episode for. I wanted to quit <laughs> Boondock Saints before we got to the plot. <laughs> anyway. Um, how do you watch Next Gen these days? Well, you could try the streaming services that we weren't able to get to work during because of the hotel internet so we're watching it on dvd but you should um definitely watch it on paramount plus until paramount plus loses star trek because paramount plus was the home of star trek but now they're like not being the home of star trek anymore yeah honestly just buy the dvds at this point like and buy them used from ebay because don't reward Paramount for pulling this shit. <laughs> and don't reward them for Discovery either. Discovery got better. Yeah. But... I haven't watched the new season yet, though. Strange New Worlds was good. You have said that. Do you have it? On DVD with you? No. We'll, 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 we'll talk later. Because we could do that, too. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, sounds good. Now, we're watching the original cut, right? Yes. Because some of the the upgraded and newfangled and f***ed with versions are, like, edited slightly differently. So if you have an option to watch the original length, original cut, do that. I believe the edited ones are still roughly the same length. They just have some different scenes. Yeah, right. Upgraded effects. Mm-hmm. Like the biggest one is they fix the um the the phaser fire oh, from, from the torpedo thing yeah from Darmok. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's 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 get into let's this. Do this, all right. This is Star Trek: The Next Generation, season three, episode one, Evolution, and we're starting it together in five, four, three, two, one, go. I accidentally started early, that's why I paused it and unpaused it. Ah, the new Enterprise model, I think. Stand by. Stand by me, because it's Will Wheaton, and he was the star of that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More garlic bread for the blood god. God damn it, kid. Rut row. Poor Wesley. Seeing, like, modern track, they would have zoomed in on that container right then and showed the things crawling out of it. He was in an episode of Babylon. See, <laughs> as his any other character except his character. Oh, 
all I can see when I all I can think of when I see him is the scene where he's telling Wesley he should spend more time imagining baseball games. It's like, shut up, you f***ing boomer. <laughs> okay, Grandpa, you're telling the star story again. Seven seconds. Six. Five. <laughs> three. Two. One. Eighteen six fifty nine. Eighteen six fifty eight. Eighteen six. <laughs> Doctor Stubbs. More like Doctor Chode. Am I right? Oh, Mr. Hoity Toity fucking science man doesn't even want me to check his thing. <laughs> I always love the the shuttle bay mm -hmm. klaxon. Don't do anything about it, Data. Just look around. It's confused. You ever drift sideways into a star? Power sliding. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> This would have been the first time anybody had ever seen this intro or this credit sequence with the cool different planets that aren't the Earth's solar system, but still have the fucked up masking for the star field, kind of. Yeah. That's one way you can tell if you're watching the re, 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 re kajiggered version, <laughs> re, re effectificated, <laughs> improved, improvedized, made better, efficated, done, done more with. Don't skip this intro, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like half a second ahead of me. That's okay. I can slow her down. You can see my screen, can't you? Yeah. Cool. You're still like slightly ahead of me. Pause there. <laughs> still ahead of me. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like graze the play button earlier. Oh, my work oh. text chain is still going. Look at my cool selfie of me in front of a picture of a guy. I cook the steak and everybody needs to know about it. I say it while taking a picture of the beer I'm drinking and posting it in a chat room. <laughs> I should be, like, taking pictures of the food I cook and, like, sending it to you them. You actually should. Like, you. I mean, you do that to, like, our friend group sometimes, and it's always, like... You always happen to do that at times when I'm like, I can't comment, but like the other day you posted some meat that looked really good and I never said anything and I'm sorry, but I appreciated it. It's a, it I cooked a pork butt. Yeah, it looked great. <laughs> Prepare for impact. All right, Dr. F nuts. Oh, some impact. Yeah, and he remembered he was supposed to be hurting.
data do something? Data's just like sitting there like Ken Jenkins, that's who that guy is. He Ken played Jenkins. 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 Dr. Chode. He played like a crazy mutinous captain in Babylon 5. Like he wasn't mutinous per se, but he, like mm -hmm. at one point. Oh, yeah, this, he's, she's back. She is back with not much hair. I want to believe that like she just hated Mr. Mott and she quit because like she couldn't get a haircut. And then when she decided to come back, she cut it really short and then just let it grow through the rest of the time she was on the Enterprise. <laughs> Doesn't he ever imagine baseball? You ever fantasize about baseball, Draco Funk? I, I, I don't. You ever you like movies about gladiators? My <laughs> <laughs> nurse likes what she sees. Yeah, there she's like, you got your shirt on backwards, you dumbass. Oh man, that's a short lab coat too. She just, she's just awkward right now. Food slot? She forgot what they were called while she was on Earth. They don't have technology. <laughs> <laughs> I think this episode was just written by somebody who had never seen Star Trek. Who wrote this one? Oh. Michael Pillar and Michael Wagner. Food slots? What, what? Maybe they're not replicators in Sick Bay. Maybe it's like if you break your neck, you get to eat real food. <laughs> <laughs> That you know of. For I hate you. Yeah, they got new episodes. New episodes for this uniform. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> <laughs> they got new uniforms for this episode. Oh yeah, and they're like don't fit at all. Fuck what I know. I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Scott Grimes is in this. Hmm. What's with that one bang in her? That's like a... Her hair is reminiscent of like, like a mid-80s anime. You know, with like the weird, like, f***ed up cowlick that anime people had in the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, she's got that going. Oh, Scott Grimes, by the way, is Malloy. Oh, uh, okay. From the Orville. Gotcha. Like, he's in this episode. We'll have, to, we'll have to find him. <clears throat> I love that sign. Caution, variable gravity. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it means like a sausage or something. Most German words are types of sausage. No. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask our friend who speaks German. <laughs> Name all of the sausages you know. Go. <clears throat> Borg vessel? Borg vessel. Victor. How about baseball? <clears throat> Borg's ball. <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny the little things you notice as times change. Like, people don't describe chess moves like that anymore. You remember when poker was more than just Texas Hold'em? When it was like a bunch of different games? Yeah. You could like play a five card draw or a stud or something. Yeah. Like, other versions of poker are lost art. Like, you, know, you, can you could declare wild cards and shit. Like, Petrus Farm remembers. Nice use of the pan flutes there. Uh, oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Troy. This is the scene where the the annoying scientist guy applies pressure. Well, that makes one of us. You fing harlot. <laughs> 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 I sense that he is unhappy.
I really hope in the future everything looks like it was built in the 80s. Me too. I wonder what a Tesla would look like if it was built in like 1985. Are you going to call it like an AI bot? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I said that, you picked up your phone. Like Somebody already had to do that. Oh, I'm sure. All of them. Usually is. Gigabytes. Gigabytes of memory. I wonder how much memory this laptop has. <laughs> <laughs> Not very much, I don't think. That actually looks awesome. I like it. Well, then what the f*** were you doing there? She's supposed to be in her quarters too, right? Yeah, who didn't? Bum, bum. <laughs> yeah, who didn't always get A's? Who's that? Hitler. <sighs> I don't know how that's connected, but. I really want. I'm, I just, I'm just going to call this guy Dr. Chodes from now on. You, we need to watch <laughs> Babylon 5. <laughs> just. Is that no? Come on down and buy new. I feel like they should be selling something. I think so. I mean, I need a new mattress. Legitimately, I do. Like, mine's kind of collapsing at the sides, you know? <laughs> if, you got a, if you got a good deal on a mattress, post a message in the comments. Or if you work for Helix and you'd like to sponsor our channel by sending me a mattress, I will plug the s*** out of your products if you send me a free mattress. Email me a mattress at shaggyb47 at gmail.com. I think that's an address I have. Hold on, I'll look. <laughs> If you can't get it to him, email me at Harry Potter Crockpot Recipes at gmail.com. That's right, yes. Uh, ShaggyBHWY47 at gmail.com. Yeah, email me a mattress. I registered that account and I've done nothing with it, but you can email me there, I guess. We? What is this we? Then he died.
and fast women. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing fast balls. I guess. Uh, I don't know. You ever watch Banana Ball? N- no. It's actually a lot of fun to watch. Huh. Oh, baseball. You know, it's there's only one thing worse than baseball, and it's fucking baseball people. <laughs> if you're a baseball person, email us. <laughs> email me at shaggybhwy47. I'll kick your ass. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything against it, except for, like, I just, it's not that interesting, you know? Like, baseball is not as interesting as baseball people think it is interesting. You know, it's, it's, it's a thing, I can't, I can't get into it. I, I, I don't mind, like, like, I'm, if I have been to baseball games, and that's been fun. Like, 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 going to a football game, though, is a lot more fun. <laughs> I've been to several baseball games, and I don't remember anything about any of the games I've been to. Yeah. I mean, that's also true. I don't remember, like, who won. But I, I remember being like, baseball's better live, like, in the in the park. I remember distinctly feeling that way. I, I remember, like, the park was more exciting than the game for me. That, well, yeah. I did see Ario Speedwagon at a baseball stadium, like, last fall, which was... I you know it's it's going to be hard like it's going to be hard to go to that same stadium to see a baseball game now because like yeah it, it was Joan Jet and Ario Speedwagon and like it's not going to be that good you know It's my fault. Yep. Oh. (laughs) Owned. Please leave. Air star. The good news is they only move in 90 degree angles. Yeah. So, like, they can't touch everything, right? Like, the computer core is like cylinders, right? So, they can't hit all of it. Data? Wait, you're in school?
Peaches come from a can. <laughs> they were put there by a man. <laughs> Factory downtown. Chode's going in there and just piss on the computer core. Yep. Why is he allowed in there? Boy, that is one form-fitting pair of pants on that underage boy there. I like a little mustard gas. Seems like they should have like some sort of like breathing apparatus. You know, I have always kind of wondered like why they didn't have emergency oxygen stations. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's was just like uh, uh, uh oh. So, so put him in the brig? Yeah. So, just on the bridge, or was that the whole ship? And like, is that everybody is a good else question. dead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just just fucking do it, man. <laughs> I I you know, it seems like they should just be able to like Yeah. Like it's eaten enough of their computer that like it probably understands how the computer talks, you know? It's like type into a console like, "Hey guys." <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're already in. Uh, 
Oh, he's got an aquarium in his room too. Captain's quarters? Like that's like the thing there. It's like the captain's like desk console thing. Like behind her there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Well, you're a, you're a bitch. <laughs> it's your, uh... I've always wondered something. What's that? You know, like how the ship like shakes a lot, like yeah. quite often. Mm -hmm. What happens to that like fish tank right there? Maybe it's on like a maybe it's on like a gimbal. You know. Or like, you know, move. Does it look like it's on a gimbal? No, I mean, no, but it's like a space future gimbal. Have you seen, there's a video of, um, like, there was a big earthquake that hit in Taiwan, like, a few days ago. And there's a video of, like, like one of the, I think it might, it might be Taipei 101. The big tower that has, like, the gigantic, like, steel sphere on, like, spring-loaded cables that is, like, the anti-earthquake thing. Yeah. Yeah, did you see that video where it, like, you know, absorbed all the force by, like, moving around a little? Yeah, yeah. but... Maybe that's what's in there. Some kind of inertial dampener. <laughs> As it were. Batter up, motherfucker! <laughs> the blue blue light. Be gone. Kill them. No kill, I... Don't tell us what they said. Yeah. Not until the commercial break. We're back! Woo! We've been forgetting that. Yeah. It's been a while. On a stretcher.
It'll make great TV. Was it? Was it? Was it what there? Come on, Captain. It's the closest I'll ever get to getting late. Uh, Tasha disagrees. Well, yeah, it probably wasn't the same for him, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's like... Yeah, see, gesture of trust, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, propose, see? Let's have Worf here for no reason. In, in case, like, Data goes crazy, Worf can, like, get the... Get his ass kicked, yeah. Worf. I think this episode had a unique soundtrack, didn't it? Like, I don't remember this this music in any other episode. <laughs> we didn't find uh, Malloy. It might be that guy. He's one of Wesley's friends. Ah. Uh... Busy. Huh. Well, he's happy with his baseball game. Is that like scrambled eggs? 
with ham. Is it a tossed salad and scrambled eggs? Also one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Says while she's looking right at his package. Huh. Ah, it's a uh, this is an episode. Yeah, you know. So, you know, one of the things that Vomit did at one point was make us a spreadsheet. Oh, yeah. For Star Trek episodes. It's probably in the... there. You need, like, did you find it? No. All right. Let's see what I can do here. I, you know... <laughs> I, I don't see it at all. He might not have actually shared it with us. Which... Yeah. Hey, there it is. Okay. He only put the ne the original series episodes on there. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, that's um Yeah, to totally only the original series. I think I just had Crumpin. Why is my crystal so the only the original on it? You know, that's I I don't know what's going on. Like, I can't hear you. <laughs> the best part is you're like a second behind me. Yeah, I mean, it's still, um, I think it's still the anti-malware thing. So, so. The fuck is that thing? Owen Command, Omen Command Center. It's like a game. It's like a video game thing. I don't want that shit. End task. Where's the startup menu? I'm just going to turn off a bunch of stuff. Anyway, rating? Um, sorry, I will give this a 6.6. 6. I think if I had been watching Next Gen as it came out, and then like I saw all of Season 2, and then this was like after a couple of months off, this came out, I'd be pretty happy. So like an even 6. It's like the best I can say for it. And even six. You yeah. know, it's it's not it's not a bad episode. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not good. It's not good. It's better than the Boondock Saints too. It yes, absolutely. So join us next time when we might watch some next generation. That's right. And until then. Don't let your robots eat your computer. You know, we were going to finish the next generation and be in the Voyager by now. And like all of Deep Space Nine and be in the Voyager by now. I don't think. Well. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>